Yo, what's up my peeps? Awesome Zach for the win here, I'm back with another video. And here is the finished Big Dipper. And how I made this it is not simple at all. It's very complicated, but it's, it's definitely worth it, because look at that. It works absolutely perfectly. Four, five, six, seven. And then go this way. This is what the ultimate square looks like. There it is. Once you go down, down, smaller, smaller. So that's what the ultimate square looks like right there. It's actually like a square, literally a square. And then you turn. This way, and do they, and then you rotate around, do they, so it start in the back, very far in the distance, and then find alcade, and then alcor, this is where it all folds back in. And then boom. There it is. Four, five, six, seven. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And then so how I made this is this right here. So this is how I made it. A lot of mathematical equations and stuff in here. The different calculations of it. Things like that. Like this triangle. Crazy things like that. Now, I'm in like 12th grade. With calculus. It's calculus and stuff like that. That I did. Right there. My calculus, my calculus, my calculus, my calculus, my calculus, my calculus. Oh, here we go. Almost there. Okay, here we go. Here's trigonometry. If you use trigonometry, so as you see here, one degree equals 6 times 60, 60 times 60 equals 3,600. Arc seconds divided by one, well, arc seconds, and then you do one arc second equals one, that one divided by 3,600 3, degrees, and then equals one parsec. And the distance is parsec equals one Parallax angle. That's where you get all this 3.1 times 10 to the 13th kilometer, and then 9 times 10. That's a light year right there. So this right here equals a light year, one light year. So now here is exactly how I did all of this stuff. So you see right there, theta one astronomical unit, the sun, so as a star rotates around every six months, you'll be able to see its change. And that's why people use parallax. So that's what I use to get parallax. Now here's the trigonometry part of it. So the nice sky looks like this. Take theta. So here's an example right here, 1.5374 arc seconds one degree divided by 3600 arc seconds that crosses out then you do 14.2706 times 10 it's a negative 40th power 
then you take your distance, which is, so you take your tangent, 90 minus theta, and you'll get your distance, which is 2, 268.326 astronomical units. Then you take one light year, which is 63,115 astronomical units. You get 4.25 light years. Now these, ra these numbers are random, that's why I used a calculator. And that's how I got these numbers. So that's in light years. So this is how I did all the stars of the Dipper. So, so Katoa. So the first one I had to do was, I had to find the arc second of the star Dube. And that was negative 0 0.119 arc seconds. And then you take, you make your triangle. So you can solve your problem. So that's one astronomical unit label there. And then you take theta. So then you do tan, tangent 90 minus theta equals distance one. <clears throat> so that's a negative. So I write my negative 0 0.19 arc seconds here. Then one degree is 3,600 arc seconds. Those cross out. And then you want to do your number minus, so I want to take this minus that by, divided by 3,600, and I'll get negative 3.1083333333333 times 10 to the negative 05th power, divide that by 2. Then I get another, um, uh, what's I'm call here, another equation. So this is tangent 90 minus negative, minus that by negative 1.55416666667 times 10 to the negative 0 fifth power. Now we'll get an actual answer here. A smaller number, which is negative 1. Point nine hundred ninety five and then we do negative five point five two four zero two zero four nine zero one times ten to the negative of fifth power and then we do this number divided by no, minus ninety and we'll get negative 90 light years. Now the reason it's negative is because that number, that star is out of sight. <clears throat> so that's why these numbers are negative. So that's Dube. Then I did the same for Alcade. Did all the mathematics. Cross out the AU. Got 46.8 light years. So on this replica here, there will be numbers that are labeled and plotted in a certain location, which is on here in 3D. And then next, I did Mizar, did all the mathematics for it, took 90 minus theta, one astronomical unit. Then did all the mathematics. This was 0 0.004 divided by 2, negative 2.00 .0 astronomical units. And then I do 1.244 astronomical units. So that's only astronomical units. So I do 1 light year divided by 36,115 astronomical units. 89.998 and then not that but yeah and then we'll minus this by make sure to like subscribe awesome make sure to like subscribe awesome Zach for the win out peace